What up y'all, Sunji here, back with another video. And if you've been around my channel for a while, I guess you already know, recently I posted a video on how to unlock that new S650 Mustang on LA Block. And Red Rock. I've been seeing a lot of comments in the comment section lately begging me for the tune it's the holiday season and today is your lucky day i will be releasing that tune setting it free to the wild i've put in many 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 hours in this game so whatever i give to you may not be what you like but you just have to learn how to run with the tune that i give you and if you learn how to run that you're gonna be a beast on the track believe me when i say this i've taught hundreds of people how to run really well on these crazy tunes that I've learned over the years. Take that into consideration when you download a tune or copy and paste it onto your car. But most of the tunes I build for each car are not copy and pasted. They're all their individual tunes. Please keep that in mind. Thanks. I would also appreciate it if you showed some support and love on my liveries that I've created for this car. And I can also show you the liveries that I've made for the newer car as well. But one of these liveries that is at the top of the list right now is obviously going to be this Family Guy livery. If you look at the top right, you'll see the code and then my name as the author. One of the craziest livers I've ever thought of making. Didn't know it would go this far. Please show your support. Download my liveries. I'll show you the liveries for the uh, S650 while I'm at it. We come all the way to the bottom here. Starting off with a GT3 racing livery. This car is a beast on the track, man. It will race, it will drift, and it will drag. Most of them are private, but if you really rock with the team livery, please go ahead and download this. We got one version here, second version here, Kuva, and it's, this is the wrong body kit for performance racing livery for GT3, clean livery here, carbon Kevlar. X Street body kit. This isn't the right body kit for the livery. Also, I do have a racing tune on this car that I have uploaded publicly. If y'all want to download that as well, as soon as you unlock this car, it is a machine on the track. This car right here has been my number one most used car since I got the game. Not my favorite, but it has seen many, many, many different phases throughout the years. As you can tell, got a little drag build. All my versions that I've been working on. I do track race this thing as well. I'm gonna show you, not this tune, this is my main tune that I use for everything. I had to change it up for LA Block. So, here we go. About to let it go. So for the spring length, we got 14 in the front, 24 in the rear, 180 stiffness in the front, 30 in the rear, 8,420 damper fast bump, and then the damper rebound, keep that the same. Damper bump, you're going to go at least 1,000 lower, and this way when you're transitioning, the front of your car will compress really easily but with the rebound being super high it will not um it won't rebound right away so it'll take a minute to rebound which is what gives you the three wheeling effect and then for the sway bar that'll also help with the three wheeling if you do not like to three wheel at all you can turn this down to like 100 and that should be fine but if you know me i'm all about the style and this is what I rock and your rear end is a very important key to getting that motion in the drift so you're gonna want to have to copy all these and then for the toe most of my cars are set to negative one and then for the rear it's in the positives or zero to like 
positive 80 is the max I'll go. But most of my cars are around 0 to 30. This Mustang in general, it is at a high setting because there is so much power behind these wheels. Camber negative 450, the rear matching the rear toe. So you match these two always. And then caster is at 4 degrees. Steering access 0, max steering 65, and 0% Ackerman. Keep the kingpin and the caster the same. My wheels, I'm always running 18 or 17, lower. Never higher than 18 on most of my builds. And then 310 in the front, 325 in the rear, 80 kilopascal tire pressure in the front, 70 in the rear, and then I put this on the 120s. Wheelbase is 10 in the front, 0 in the rear, 40-40 for the profile. I keep my brakes at 3,000, and this should be a little higher. This should be at 74. ABS off, launch control off, the engine. You can keep this on if you want. Max everything out. Keep it all maxed out. And then here is my transmission. The nuttiest transmission you'll ever have in a Mustang. And you cannot copy this tune over to the new Mustang once you get it because it is not going to run the same, surprisingly. And there you have it, folks. You now have the tune. Merry Christmas to you all. And I hope you stick around for more content like this. Thanks.